Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an episode of Tank Tries, I am Tank, and today, oh, actually I gotta stop myself here, today, I've had it up to here with these dang Louisiana sauces, so, so today, I am going to be trying all three of these sauces, we got roasted garlic, habanero, and chipotle flavors all of them I'm gonna do all I'm gonna make some chicken nuggets like pretty much just put the each each of them on the same like nugget like, no, well not on the same nugget on like separate nuggets and I'm gonna try them all today so we can get these out of here I like them but you know I think after this video I'm not going to do many hot sauces for a while, but I do have some that are pretty popular I should probably get to, but I just want to get these done before that. So yeah, so let's get these bad boys out. One. Two, oh, you're in there. <laughs> Three, all of these are going to be done used. Today in this video so let's stop gabbing and get to the kitchen <sighs> all right folks we are now in the kitchen we're going to begin the process of you know mixing the sauces with the nuggets so uh you know what just come over to me and i'll show you where the station is where we're gonna be getting this stuff done here so come on come on <laughs> all right guys so we got just give me a minute here <laughs> gotta get the legs straight okay now now we just got to turn the camera this way and then rotate the tripod here and now <sighs> apologies there we go we got the roasted onion uh, I mean roasted garlic we got the habanero and we got the chipotle so now I just gotta get this wrap off I that slipped my mind I'm sorry so let's just get this off okay first one I'll just move it to the side here okay the oven is talking to me so here we go just I should have done this way before everything but what do you do so how was your guys is like uh, New Year's and New Year's Eve you know Mine was alright. Well, it could have been better, but that's alright. No. It's a new year. We're going to figure some more shit out. And, you know, la di da di da di da. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right. So first will be the roasted garlic. So let me just take a whiff here. Wow, that does kind of smell garlicky. Well, it's roasted garlic, so I shouldn't be surprised. So now we just gotta smack it out, smack it out. Okay, good. Got that, and we're just gonna. got a decent coat on it like you know like you know that's what would you like that would be, that's what we want that's what we want mm -hmm. like a smoky roasted flavor now the habanero that one actually smells way more potent than any of the others I've tried so far. So now, same thing. We just gotta smack it out, smack it out. There we go. That should be enough. Same thing. We just gotta grab this, put the lid on. If, come on, work with me here. Shake it up. There we go. And again, they're decently covered. Oh, that one, that one actually smells pretty strong. So, now, the Chipotle. Let's. Oh, shoot. Yep. That is actually a decent smell, you guys. A very decent smell. So, let's grab this bring this over here and we're just gonna with the others that looks kind of darker oh that smells good though where's the wood cap oh there it is this one smells really good that one smells really good. This one smells pretty damn potent, so I think that one's gonna burn. This one is, you know, it's got a gar gar garlic like smell to it, and a you know, just like a roasted like roasted something or other. So now, same thing. thing is to try to remember which when I put it on the pan to stick them in the oven to remember which side is which so this is what I'm gonna do I am going to take a pen or a sharpie of some sort and mark the tin foil that I'm gonna put them on so it'll say like C for Chipotle H for habanero and R for roast or G for garlic. I think that should work pretty well. So, oh yeah, that is a perfect, perfect coating. Perfect coating. So now, 
I got to get some tin foil and grab some like spray, like some Pam to uh, so the, the, it doesn't stick. So let's do that quick. All right. Got some tin foil here, so we're just gonna. Ah, uh, will it be a perfect fit? Almost. Yep, this will do. So, this is what how it's gonna work. I gotta find a Sharpie now. So, we're gonna put a C here. Well, you're not, you can't even see me. Silly me, I'm sorry. Okay. We're going to put a C here for Chipotle. C. Uh, then we're going to put a H here. And a G here. Okay. Good. So now, I just got to spray it down with Pam. So let's get some Pam here. Okay, there we go. So now, this is the roasted garlic. So this should go right here. These four go right there. And now we're gonna grab the habanero. So this would these would go right here. And the chipotle is going right here. So, let's actually get these closer to the G. That can not cover the H. So, we're just gonna, yep, just, there we go. Now, let's shove them in the oven. The oven's been preheating for a while, for 350. So, let's get this cooking. So guys, I'm going to, you know, we're going to sh shut her down for right now to let the things cook. And I will be right back with you. So, stay tuned. Uh, Alright guys, I've cooked all the... Like, you know, this batch is roasted garlic. Okay. This batch is habanero. And this batch is chipotle. So, now, I got forks for each one because I don't want to contaminate any of the, of the, like, nuggets with the different sauces. So, Let's uh, get to it. So, I'm starting off with the roasted garlic. Let's take and let's grab this nugget. Yeah, that's got a garlicky, like, like a garlicky scent to it. So, yep. Uh, let's uh, give this one a try. Mm, that's good guys that is really good yeah holy now it's giving me a kick not it's not like anything I haven't had before but it was just a surprise because there was zero zero like heat at the time like when I took my first bite it there was like none 
but it comes, it's a, it's a slow burn. It's like a very slow burn. It comes up and it just, I don't see, right now it's gone. Yeah, so I'm going to finish this one. Yep, see that burn is there again. It's not really affecting me at all. It's it's like not making me hot. It's just it's doing its own thing. It has the right to be called the hot sauce, but it's not anything worthwhile, but I could put this on eggs or like a steak or some chicken like 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 I am now but it it passes it can I'll continue using this to until the bottle is empty yeah so now I have water here and I am going to it's not because of the heat I'm going to rinse my palate with the water then I'm gonna try the habanero flavor oh, come on <laughs> One more sip. Ah. All right, we can, can continue on. So now the habanero. Habanero can be pretty hot in its own, like pepper-wise and such. It can actually hurt you, like in your innards, if you get a really, really good one. It depends on like the how oh, if you get seeds and such like that, but I've been able to handle decent amounts of heat for those. So let's uh, give the the nugget a try. Wow, that. That's a. <laughs> That is a familiar smell, guys. It's a scary smell. Honestly, it smells like one of them, but let's uh, give it a shot here. Oh yeah, this one gives you a burn right away. This one is actually kind of over overwhelming, but it's still good in its own right. I really enjoy it. The heat level is on the back of my throat, the back of my mouth and down the throat. Like... It, this, different sauces can affect you in different ways. There's some that, you know, you can just take a bite and it'll burn the crap out of your tongue. But, you know, then, you know, sometimes, like, these here just burn the, ends, the whole entire mouth. This is affecting the back of the neck, or the back of the throat, and kind of the, the back of the mouth. A little bit of the tongue, but nothing too bad. But, it's very good. I would, I would put this on eggs, a steak, some chicken, and different, different things. You know, it's pretty good, and the heat has subsided. Well, it's no, it's not fully subsided, but it's getting there. I can tell, the level is slowly, slowly disappearing, and now. Okay. I think it subsided enough to the point where I could finish the nugget off. So, and then I, you guys are going to have to wait for me to calm down that heat again. <laughs> oh yeah, this one's good. This one's good. I like this one. I like it. 
Got dragon fire going on right here. Mm. Fine, I'm trying to find my inner peace here. Because that second finish that nugget off actually it's affecting the whole mouth this time around. But it's more again in the the hottest portion is in the throat. But it can subs it'll subside. It'll subside. Yeah, it's it's a hot one. That's a hot one. Hmm. All right, the heat has officially subsided. So now grab the water to clean the palate again. One more swing. <sighs> now, time to try Chipotle. Louisiana Chipotle. So, let's do this. This really doesn't got a smell to it. All right. Slight tongue burn. It's nothing compared to the habanero. But it's very good. I, I do recommend each one of these sauces to try at least. It's a lot, a lot of people think when they get the Louisiana brands, they're uh, weak and, you know, like. Frank's is like even higher level than than uh, Louisiana or Tabasco or okay I have to say Tex well they are compared to like Texas Pete's like different levels of you know but each one has are different on the Scoville unit this one is probably the highest because it had the worst burn. This one must be the lowest because it had the weakest burn. And this one is probably close to the lowest because I got a, just a mild burn. Just very, very mild. So, once again, I'm going to finish off the nugget. And the Chipotle is extremely good. I recommend you to give the Chipotle flavor one a try. And the roasted, uh, the roasted garlic. I almost said roasted nugget. <laughs> and this one will kind of burn you, but it's still good. So, I'm going to finish this off. And that was delicious. I don't even need the water. Actually, I do, just to clean the palate. I'm going to do something where I'm going to combine on each 
one fork I'm going to put each one on one fork and I'm going to do try them all so all together and again part of me thinks why didn't I just put every sauce in a deal and put one in there and shake it up I didn't think that through at the time so and I really don't want to dirty up another Tupperware deal so this is what we're gonna do first the roasted garlic slide it down the habanero slide it on there Ooh, whoa <laughs> okay this will work now we got you know the chipotle <sighs> let's get my big mouth to work <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> That's actually tasty. Oh, we got the kick of the jalapeno, uh, habanero. Let's uh, get you back on there. Yeah, guys, this is very good all together. Very, very good. Yeah, so, so I've been Tank. This has been Tank Tries. The final Louisiana style sauces. Till next time, my friends. I've been Tank, signing off, and have a wonderful day. Mmm. <clears throat>